What up guys, welcome back to the garage, man. As you guys know, we had a couple of days worth of rain, but it's a nice blue sky. It's a beautiful day and the forecast most certainly does not show any sign of rain. So you know what that means, game on! <laughs> So on the plan of attack for the day, up first is I need to obviously get the booth kind of cleaned up. You know what I'm saying? Get my workspace cleaned up. But I'm wanting to work on the actual shell itself before I work on anything else. So worst case scenario, if we get the car done, Curly can actually pick the car up and start working out his other problems that he has. I saw in the comments in yesterday's video, somebody mentioned something about fixing the quarter panel or I can't believe you're not going to do that or something like Look, the body on this thing is pretty damn straight. If I find a dent in like, you know what, I'm gonna fix this one dent. Well, what about the other dent? What about the hole over here? What about the damn bullet hole in the bottom of the door? Like, where does it end? You know what I'm saying? If you start fixing stuff, like I told you guys from the beginning, this is gonna be a race car paint job. Um, if there's somebody watching that can't handle that, then I don't know what to tell you, bro. If you're like so just heartbroken over the fact that a precious Honda Civic is not gonna be painted correctly. Oh my God, man, come on, dude. It is the 17th, I think. IFO is on like the 21st or 22nd, something like that. That gives us like five days, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get the car painted, reassembled. It's gotta go back over to Curly. They still have to put it back on the dyno, fix some problems, install Lexan glass. We're not gonna get hung up on fixing bullet holes, man. Come on. All right, got the inside of the car all masked off. I need to kind of skim over it once I'm done, make sure I didn't miss anything. But got the dash, made sure to get the wiring really good. Um, got the, the windshield on the inside covered. Unbolted the e-brake, and I just have it hanging from the roof, suspending. Got it all masked off and stuff. Uh, the shifter, got the top hats and stuff of the rear suspension masked off. So now I need to work on the outside. I tried to talk Curly into letting me do the engine bay, bro. I, I was honestly excited to make kind of a portion of a video showing you how to paint the engine bay with the engine still in the car. I've done it before. It is possible. It's not perfect, but it actually looks pretty damn good. You wouldn't really be able to tell. He talked me out of it. What can I say? So I need to get the whole engine bay masked off. Mask off the front of the windshield. Obviously the wheels, filler on the gas tank. Yeah, we're almost there. <laughs> I just wanna start freaking spraying already, man. <laughs> Well, the time has come, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for not only to start spraying, but also for a color reveal. You ready? You ready? You ready for it? Ready for it? 
<laughs> All right, I'm gonna black and white you guys for just a moment. I was actually going to black and white the entire spraying process, okay? And then I was gonna do like a color reveal uh, in the next video, but I don't wanna do that to you guys. So I'm just gonna black and white you for a moment. We're gonna start off with getting the interior of the car sprayed. So for the most part, I'm gonna be getting inside of here and I need to spray the inside of all these quarter panels. I need to spray the roof. I need to spray the inside of the doors. I need to get all of this stuff on the sides the best that I can. One, two, three coats, whatever it takes for it to cover before I go and do the floor because the floor is last. It's always last because I need to be able to get in there and move around, you know what I'm saying? But that's the plan. Get the inside of the car done and the door jams, backside of the doors, and then we're going to have to let that dry before we can move on. Unfortunately, but I'm just excited to start spraying some damn paint on this thing.
and shit. Yeah, that is a wild ass color, man. I can't wait to actually get the entire exterior of the car sprayed so we can roll it out into the sun because I know you probably can't see it in the camera right now, but this does have a metallic in it. Anyhow, guys, it is the next morning. I needed to let this go ahead and sit and dry. So now what it is we need to do is actually go around and mask off all the windows pretty much anywhere that is open to the inside of the car because I want to mask all that off so now we can spray the exterior without leaving the interior over sprayed like crazy but before I start on masking this off I want to get the fenders and the bumper primered I'm gonna go ahead and do it out here because I need to get primer on them so it has time to dry so by the time I'm done spraying that we can move it out and then the primer will be dry and we can just keep this train moving you know what I'm saying All right, got that stuff primered and I got the car masked off to where we're not gonna get any overspray on the inside. Got my paint all mixed up. I've already got paint in my spray gun. We're ready, bro. Anyhow, yeah, I'm gonna throw my mask on, kick the booth on, just get into this. <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna lie. This is a, I mean, it's a wild color. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's like, but I really freaking like this color. <laughs> Dude, this color looks sick, man. Like, it has... Oh, it, dude, I don't know how to put it into words. Like, I don't even know if it looks the same, like, over camera as it does in person. But the metallic in it, like, it kind of looks pearlescent as you walk around it. I don't know, man. I really dig it. And I haven't even seen it in the sun yet. So, uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and roll the car out right now and try to get the fenders and the bumper and stuff in. Uh, this, is, this is kind of a fast forward. It's been about three hours now since I sprayed it. This paint does, like, dry to the touch really fast. But if I were to, like, push on it, I would push a fingerprint into it. So, I got to be careful with it but it is for the most part dry to the touch. So I am capable of rolling it out. If there's any dust that lands on it, it's not gonna stick to it, you know what I'm saying? But I do not want a bird landing on it. Look at this motherfucker. Look at these son of bitches. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Those some fat ass birds. You know why? Cause they eat all the dog food. Damn it. I still have to sand this freaking thing. <laughs> I put it off the other day and now I'm regretting it. Cause everything else is pretty much ready to be sprayed except for this freaking mother. Well, primer on the fenders is still too gummy to sand. And if you don't know what I mean by it's still too gummy, whenever you go to sand on it, you're trying to get it smooth but you can't because it's building up on the sandpaper like that. So, and those are like chunks, dude. So what that does is it keeps the sandpaper from even touching the fender. Um, but not only does this stuff get stuck on the sandpaper, but it also gets stuck on the fender. 
Like you literally have to like knock them off with your fingernail. Quick fix to that. Just get them a little wet and no, this is not wet sandpaper. So the sandpaper is not gonna last long, but at least we'll be able to sand it. I might use two or three pieces on these fenders, but at least we'll get them sanded. So now it's not gumming up my sandpaper and we don't have any gummies stuck on a fender. So win-win, but you will have to hose them off after you're done. It's just nature of the beast. And also, of course, now we'll have to dry them really well before we can paint them. But it beats having to wait till tomorrow for the primer to dry. You know what I'm saying? Now I can just dry them, continue spraying. It's helpful whenever, whenever you're in a rush, you know? everything is sprayed now I do still have some things that I need to hit with uh, with like a satin black like the little door trim uh, I, I don't know there's a few things I'll figure it out I'm not gonna do all that on video dude we got the bumpers fenders got the rear hatch sprayed got the freaking car sprayed dude I ain't gonna lie I was actually going to do this whole entire video in black and white because I just really didn't want to reveal the color until the car is put together, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, it's one of those things, like I personally feel like the video would have been lame if it was in black and white. Like sure, it probably would build suspense for tomorrow's video, so you guys would be like, I can't wait to see the color, but I don't know. Throw it in the comments down below how you guys are feeling about the color now. Mind you, I think this is gonna look a lot better with black wheels. Whenever it's all assembled, man, it needs black wheels. Uh, it's getting Lexan and a full Lexan kit from ASM. You already know that. And I think they're going with the tinted Lexan. So that will look pretty sick with the tinted windows. It's a work in progress, man. But I really do think that a good accent color for, for this car is gonna be black. So I think black wheels will, is gonna look the best on it. Now, I'm going to get the car put together tomorrow. I gotta try to be really gentle with the paint. I don't think that I'm gonna have time to mask this off and actually paint the grill black because Kurt let, I mean, to be honest, Curly needs to pick the car up. As I've, I'm sure I've said multiple times throughout the video, they still have uh, some troubleshooting and stuff they gotta do with the car. So a lot of little fine details and stuff we're gonna have to pick up on later, but I will tell you this, I think I am going to be going out to the shop and helping them with the Lexan install. Um, and just getting the car like furthering getting the car ready for IFO. But anyhow guys, that's pretty much it I am now on same day. So I'm hoping I get this video posted up for you guys tonight Yeah, it's five o'clock. It's five o'clock already This is normally the time that I like to have a video posted. And I'm barely finishing recording I still got to go edit. So anyhow guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video If you did, please do smash the like button. Peace out and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully. That's if they don't get me. I heard the K-Series guys and Mustang people have joined forces to take me out. Join forces with the Matrix, man! Tell these guys to leave my boy Tate alone. Yeah.